to the Batmobile. Let's go. Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Roger. Ready to move out. What's up? Welcome back, Bass Boy Banner. Bobblehead bobbling. There we go. Um, episode 83, Thor, Brian. Only question we have for you, who wants a mustache ride? Um, <laughs> so it's uh, Monday Holy. night. It's about 11 o'clock oh. or there. So I've had a little bit of coffee. Um, so I'm very excitable, as usual. Brian's here looking like Brian. Um, what the hell does that mean? That just means you look like you. The pop collection is growing. Um, whatever. I think he's got a problem. We don't need to talk about that. Uh, Although, how much are realistically? How much are the pops? Eight ninety nine. Right. If you so, get it at Target. I mean, how much did you spend on you know like your uh, that the Goku. hand painted Goku from Japan? Yeah, a couple bucks. Right. I mean, you could probably have gotten maybe one hundred twenty. Okay, so 12 pops for that. Exactly. So I guess it's really not... I mean, it I, looks like it's a problem, but I think realistically, until you have like a shelf like that one full of pops, right. we're probably okay. And the shelf like that one he's referring to is there's a tiny shelf on the top of my DVD wall. That oh, has I, was, like I meant tiny, the whole thing. Oh, yeah, or that. Um, yeah, we're Basement Boy Banner. We talk about what happened the week in Nerd, but since it's Monday, nothing's really happened, so we're going to talk about last week, because we're a couple days late, you know? You didn't need to say that. You could, we could pretend this was Saturday, and it it's just took forever. It's all new. Yeah. And it took forever. Edit. Now it's Monday, fuck it. Uh-huh. Well, it's Comic-Con this weekend, Guardians twice. We both have busy weekends, so, you know, that's why I figured to do it on Monday. We could kind of recap what happened. Um, let's actually start with some Guardians 2 discussion. Mm-hmm. We're not doing a Guardians 2 review, so we'll kind of give you a little review here. Uh, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, I actually think it's a completely different movie than the first one. I don't think they should have called it Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, because it really didn't seem like a Volume 2 to the last movie, because they seem like such different movies. Yes, it's the same story. Yes, it's the same characters. But... This movie. What would you have? They prefer. What would you? I prefer don't know. They had Volume two is fine. I get it because the music and stuff. Like I understand why they used it. I'm just saying they seem. Do these seem like very different movies to you? Uh, yeah, but that's uh, I guess saying like, do these two movies seem very different? But I mean, the same, but you know, you know what I mean. I'm just saying I can see people who didn't like Guardians two walking, wanting Guardians one, and getting this movie. Because if you walked in expecting Guardians one. You might be disappointed with Guardians Volume Two. Yeah, I guess, but at the same time, it, the nice thing with this movie is it felt like we jumped right in, like we didn't break the stride. So yeah. it felt like Volume Two. You know what I mean? That's Not true. like oh, we got to remind you who all these idiots are. It was like they just went into them doing their thing. Well, and that's what was nice because the first movie they kind of tell you who these characters mm-hmm, are, mm-hmm. whereas in this movie they really delve into why these characters are who they are. Um, Baby Groot obviously steals steals the movie. I mean, ridiculous. The beginning, just the intro part from that on, is pretty much his movie, and they're all just there. Um, but I really liked a lot of the Star Lord stuff. Um, Drax, I see why people said they made him too much of a joke. Yeah, but if you take that one moment with him and Manta, it's almost like he he's funny because he's been through so much crap. That is like. Is he going to be just depressive all the time and bitter and angry? Right. Or is he still going to be an ass kicker well, and just be funny and, and like, it, you know? I, I totally understand where they were going with him because he was very serious. I mean, he had jokey lines, but it, he wasn't being a jokester. And his character has evolved in two ways. Number one, he's got a family again, so he's less, like, angry and mean all the time. Right. And two, it's like he's learning the joking that they do. So... Obviously, he's going to be obnoxious with it. Now, does that mean I enjoyed it? No. I mean, he was a little much. But at, at the point. same time, if you were to say, is that where his character probably should be? Yeah, I could definitely agree with the argument for that. I also like that they actually gave a raccoon a solid personality and character arc in this. I mean, not that I I think I less liked that one. Um, I think I liked it more than, than the Drax. 
but having him in comparison to um, Yondu's character, mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. That after, because it all kind of the the whole antithesis really of their problems begins when he steals the batteries in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Spoilers, by the way. Uh, oh, really? Whatever. Spoilers. Um, but yeah, so after he steals the batteries, which he had no reason to do, but he did just because he's a dick. I don't know. I, I enjoyed some of that stuff. Mm-hmm. The it, it all it really delved more into who they are as characters. Right. You know, five post credit scenes. Think you've maxed out Marvel? Um, like beyond I, maxed I, out. I don't think we need that many. I'm happy with one, maybe two, uh, but five is a chore. And yeah, and a lot of them really had people very confused. Uh, a lot of people don't know who the Watchers are. I thought it was am- amazing to have the Watchers in there with Stan Lee, but a yeah, lot of people yeah. don't know who those th- they are. Um, a lot of people don't know who Adam Warlock is. Right. Um, Brian didn't. Um, so a great nod, but again, there was nothing to tie into Infinity War. Howard the Duck stuff. Okay, <laughs> I'll give you the Howard the Duck. Did you see the du- Jeff Goldblum did have a cameo in the movie in one of the ball like in one of the sides at the end dancing no yep that's <laughs> there's a little easter egg for you um there's a lot of there's a lot of awesome parts of this movie it's a great i movie. feel like guardians is so busy in all the scenes that i feel like cameos work better in guardians than in a lot of other movies uh. because they put a lot of it's like they just got a bunch of alien shit in the background and you become blind to it because right. they had to put so much alien shit in the background to make you be like, this is into earth, you know? There's so, so much different things going on. But they on. can hide yeah. like a ton more stuff oh, in yeah. that background because you, you basically ignore it other than, oh, it doesn't look like normal Well, and James background. Gunn's a smart motherfucker. I, th- I think they did really good with Ego. I thought Kurt Russell did a good job. Um, it really reminded me, this story reminded me of a 30-minute cartoon. Like a lot of the cartoons I loved growing up mm-hmm. where they had like, you know, it was a very simple plot. It was a very simple, right. like, story, and it was executed well. People ask me, like, it, like, oh, is this movie amazing? I don't know if I'd call it amazing. I don't know if I'd call it, you know, it's not the best movie ever. It's a good movie. It's a very good movie. I wouldn't say even a great movie. I would say it's a very good movie, mm-hmm. worth seeing, that I give, I'd say, a solid four out of five. Right. You know? Four I think it suffers four. from the same thing that... Age of Ultron kind of suffers from, and I feel like a lot... Law of Diminishing Returns? No. Middle movie. It feels very... So it's building further off of what the first movie started, but also building towards something else. Well... Because the Avengers, let's let's be real. I mean, there was problems with Age of Ultron besides this, but part of it is... They're no long. They're all friends, so they're working together. So you got to kind of like lead into uh, you know what you're gonna do with Civil War and freaking Infinity War and like you 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 know you know Ultron doesn't end the world because we got other stuff going I, on. I, I get what you're saying here, but I think this was a finite story that doesn't really leave. Honestly, it wrapped up a lot of the questions from the first movie. I mean, it left it leaves the Warlock stuff. But you have to kind of leave that. You got Gamora's relationship with her sister that's halfway open. Fixed. Sort of. I mean... They're good. They're in a good spot. Ish. They I, hugged. They, okay. They hugged. All okay. Right. So it fixed them ish, but where do they stand now? You have that's all good. of these relationships... Groot's a teenager now. Right. Well, But see, here's the thing, though, is like you're, you really aren't building towards Guardians 3 at this point because they are going to be in Infinity War. But so these characters are going to have... Something happened to them before we get to Guardians mm-hmm. 3. That's why I feel like they actually left it more closed than the last one and a lot more closed than some of the Marvel movies because it was kind of a finite story of him and his dad. Right. You know, that ended. That's well, and done. I, I'm not saying the stories. You, not, you have but, to but leave the, certain the, you the know, characters, I feel like, were in the, characters. The, I get what you're the, saying. the transition period. I get, I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I, get, I get what you're saying. There's a lot of times with the. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying in that aspect for sure. So, um, but yeah, go see Guardians 2. No review, but there you go. There's our, our thoughts on the movie, at least. Um, and Humans dropped a 33 second voiceover thing. <laughs> I don't whatever, fuck it. It yeah. was fine. I don't even care. I really don't. It's supposed to be an IMAX yeah. in uh September first, and that's gonna be a TV show. But the question is, do we care? And the answer is I don't know yet. We'll see. I mean if it was a Dragon Ball Z movie. 
Yeah, <sighs> you know, that you bring that up brings us to our next topic. Um, good transition there. But, um, um, so Dragon Ball Z is circling the uh, Hollywood drain, one would say. I read a story um, somewhere that said that there's a lot of studios like Universal, um, not Fox, because 20th Century Fox fucked us last time. Dragon Ball Evolution, the worst pile of shit that ever happened hey, to this planet. But let's let's be Fox. I'll give you credit. You did it wrong the first time. Like Sony. really, really, Sony's the other the one. Sony's the other one. Yeah, they're not willing to do it again. See, no, smart. they won't they, even give them a chance to do it again. Right, but it's one of those things where they wouldn't even make an attempt. Funimation they says they don't want to go Hollywood, but they got the rights to so many properties that if they get a studio that's got the right ideas and the right, like the right group of people behind it, we could see it. As much as I, and, and this is weird. Like a year ago, you you tell me this news, and I'm like jumping for joy. Mm-hmm. Fast forward to where we are now. I don't want it. Really? I don't want it. Don't ruin it. Just don't don't fuck it up. You know what I mean? Like, leave me with my you know my VHS Dragon Ball set. Leave me with my Dragon Ball Super. Don't fuck up things I love. Yeah, but that leads me into the counter argument that I've actually heard from a lot of people who really like. Avatar, The Last Airbender, and that... Another awful movie. But their argument was, whether that movie was good or not, that doesn't take anything away from right. it what you liked exactly. in the show. It doesn't no, ruin it doesn't. anything. It doesn't. So why does it hurt you to let them try? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt me. It's just I don't feel it's necessary. Yeah, but... And I don't feel they can do it properly, or will do it properly. Like we've talked about, it's, it's, a, it's a storytelling that doesn't really... Suit itself well to a movie format. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it, it's storytelling that's not suited to a mo- movie format. It's why animes don't work theatrically. They're not suited for it. Bottom line, yeah. you know? So, but, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, right. I'm just saying I hope not. Um, Wonder Woman dropped, like, its 30th trailer. <laughs> At least. What's impressed me about the Wonder Woman trailers is they've all been good. And mm-hmm. I like this one, too. Um... I'd love to see someone take, because I mean, it's a lot them? of, tra- and like piece it together. Oh, yeah. It's and, all, like, you so, can probably find so it by tomorrow morning. You can watch it like, in order of, I guess, what we assume. It might be about 10 minutes worth, realistically, at this point. But literally, I would be guessing out of the entire movie, we're seeing less than, like, less than 40%. Because mm-hmm. they're leaving a lot of stuff out. They did finally introduce, like, the villain. In the last trailer, I mean, they showed. Did they her say Doctor the Poison? Something Poison. Not familiar with that villain, to be honest with. I mean, drop drop a comment if you are, or if you can drop some knowledge on these basement boys right. about um, who the fuck Doctor Poison is, because uh, I know Poison for talking about eighties and Belle Belle DeVoe, or the hairband Poison, um, <laughs> but. Doctor Poison, I'm not as familiar with. So, uh, but yeah. So, Wonder Woman trailer was good. What'd you think? You liked it? Yeah, it was. It was a good. We're like three weeks away. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I, I'm excited for Wonder Woman. I think the trailers make it look really good. Yeah. But mm, Batman vs Superman had that same. Uh, that does, but that has nothing to do with this. Made by Patty Jenkins. It's a different director. Different, like different everything. It's not Zack Snyder. Yeah, but it's different owned by writers. the same person. Different, written by different people, directed by a different person. That's since it's in the same universe and it's still WB and, and DC, doesn't really mean a whole lot, though. Right, but it means the same guys who are in charge of whatever are at least overviewing it. Not really, no. Because so you think? Well, I mean, the same guys who really, overviewed all those movies. But were they don't like, really oh, have. Whatever. They don't really have like a head head over at DC. There's no Kevin Feige over at DC. It's like a yeah. It's a bunch of different people. So you think that bunch of different people were like, eh, whatever, we won't pay attention well, no, to Wonder they, Woman. They, they tell the director, I think the director has a vision, and then... They go in on, there and they mess it up. Depending on who has final cut. But the, the problems with Suicide Squad weren't the... David Ayer even said himself, that was his fault. Like, he's like, my bad. And then Zack Snyder, you know, Zack Snyder kind of just Zack Snyder did a little too much. Just Zack Snyder did a little he too much. He just didn't, you know what I mean? But oh, neither, neither one was a Fantastic Four, like, studio interference problem. 
Neither you, movie was a studio just interference. Just because the director, let's be honest no, here. I'm, if the director was uh, smart and he wanted to keep making Trey, money in Hollywood, you don't blame the studio. No, Trey came out and said the studio effed my movie. Right. And how many studios are jumping at the bit to get him to direct movies for? He's still making movies? Right. But he's definitely not working with them ever again. Well, yeah, probably not them, but why would you want to after that? But that's what I'm saying. But, uh, the most studios are probably like, man, I don't want to touch that guy. I'm just saying, I don't think, but that's not what we've heard. We haven't heard DC Metals with, you know what I mean? They're Like, whatever. I mean, who knows? Either way, I mean, we're not going to know. But we'll find out in like three weeks if this movie's any good, but I think it's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be, I think it's maybe it could be the redeeming movie of DC. We'll see. Uh, I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. Um... Defenders dropped a trailer, though. Talking about impressive. That trailer was sick. The trailer was sick. Go ahead. Talk about it. Well, it was sick. I liked it. What did you like about it? Honestly, the big, okay, you can't just toss me on the spot. I'm like, oh, yeah, I really like it. And then he's like, he's like, oh, oh. Why well, did you like you know, it? And list- then he can answer the question why he fucking liked the thing he just said he really liked. Yeah, I put him on the spot, though. He did. He didn't give me a second so to think. So I really like this he trailer because, <clears throat> like, when Jessica Jones walked in and it gets introduced to Matt Murdock, or Matt Murdock walks in and, and that's her, her lawyer, that makes complete sense on how those two characters would interact. Seeing the Luke Cage, the Iron Fist stuff, really, really got me going because... Those two are going to have a great um, back and forth. Back and forth throughout the whole. I did series. really like where they played their later dialogue. We I assume over them like like why can't you get hurt after he punches him and fails and then he's like what's with the glowing fist and then it shows him punch him with the, the glowing iron fist. fist. Yeah, uh, that was kind of kind of cleverly. I'm put excited. For that. And then she's like night or she's like short scarf or, she, or something like that. Nice scarf. And he's like it's yours. No, or it, she said it that that, that oh, that's scarf short, yeah, it yeah, makes you look a, stupid or something. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, you know it's yours or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's your scarf. Yeah. So, no, it was good. I think it's going to be Sigourney Weaver. I still can't know, remember or don't know or both who she's playing. But <laughs> she looks legit. Mm-hmm. The closer you guys are, the more ties you have, the easier it is to break you. Um, I it's think the, the whole hand. thing looks solid. They showed yeah. Electra. When does that come out? August? Uh, September? I didn't pay attention to that part. Not soon enough. enough. I want to say August. Like, August 18th, but don't quote me on that. Um... And then, oh, Dragon Ball Super. We had two episodes backed up. It is complete filler time, people. Uh, Dra- Battle of the Gods, Dragon Ball Super. Uh, I can't remember which number of episodes they were. But the Battle of the Gods is over. Mm-hmm. We're into the in-betweens thing between Battle of the Gods and Resurrection F, which I'm still kind of pissed they're doing Resurrection F, but it kind of <laughs> makes whatever. makes it canon. Um, He's living in the past. I am. I want to be in the future. Uh, but so we got, we got filler stuff. The first filler episode was amazing. It was Vegeta convincing Whis to take him to... Uh, to take him to... Train. Train, because we find out that Whis is actually Beerus's master, teacher. Trainer. Sensei. Something. Whatever. He's that to him. So then Vegeta's like, I got to learn. Mm-hmm. What else was going on? Was that the episode where he punches Krillin? I think so. Cause yeah, Go- I think it was before that. Goku punched Krillin as hard as he could. Almost killed him. That was amazing. <laughs> um, Pan was born. Chi-Chi's psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> like, because um, that was the martial art fighting one, right? Where, like, Satan and yeah, Gohan yeah. got kicked out yeah, or locked whatever. Him, locked him Yeah, she, she kicked him out of their own place because they were, like, throwing the baby around. He was Saiyan Man, which was fun to see Saiyan Man. Wait, Saiya was Man. that the same one? I think because that's the one. I think that's when uh, Bulma uh, told the uh, let loose that uh, Vegeta was training. I so think that was, that was the, the second next, one. Yeah, that was the next Because then Goku finds out, and then Goku's like, yo, I got I to gotta get there. Yeah. Got, I got to be part of that. Mm-hmm. So then he starts to be super annoying. Oh, and, and Vegeta got a new outfit. Oh, Vegeta got his gray outfit. I, see, that, and that's what we were talking about when we were watching it, too. Mm-hmm. I kind of like how, you know, in the movies, they just kind of show up with new clothes and then, like, new gear. But in the in the series, they always say, like, why they have a well, new... Well, even Bulma, she got yeah, her hair changed her haircut, completely. and she's like, yep, just got a haircut. Well, and I think it got colored, too, because yeah. it's, it's more it's blue. Dark, yeah, it's more blue, like, when she was younger. Mm-hmm. Instead of green. Right, because she's old. Mm-hmm. Instead of going gray, instead of going gray, she went green. Mm-hmm. Fun. I hope to go green someday. 
Um, you're going gray, not green. Oh, right. I'm definitely going gray. I know. Although it's... you're still nothing compared to Martin. What, in the gray category? Oh, God, yeah. How? He's like, isn't he a That de- has nothing to do with how many gray hairs he got. Really? Oh, God, yeah. I got, I, I mean, I, I got the the side silver fox. He's got everywhere. <laughs> how would you know? Um, Whatever. That's... Story for another time, I guess. Oh, uh, Wizard World Minneapolis was this weekend. I attended. Uh, Brian did not this year. Uh, because no one invited me. Weren't you working? No. I had this weekend off. You didn't uh, even ask. All right, I didn't ask. Hurt my feelings. Sorry, dog. Uh, took nephew and uh, nephew's cousin and little dude and the girl. And it was a complete shit show. It was fun, though. The smallest year it's ever been. No t-shirt guy. Pissed about that. Really? Yeah, no t-shirt dude. That's Him true. and Wizard World must have, they I found out they had a disagreement. Really? So there was like there was it was sparse for t-shirts. Did get one. Pew pew pew. Um it's all right. It's not what I was hoping for. Um I actually didn't buy a collectible. I literally bought that um Frieza thing right behind you. Well, you bought that box, right? I'm getting. I was getting there. Uh, I bought a Thor, a Lego Thor, uh, like a Lego th- figure, mm-hmm. but I got the Thor figure. Uh, and then I bought a Star Wars mystery box, which I got the Hera Pop. Um, I got a silicone R two D two ice tray, mm-hmm. but it's one giant fucking R two D two. It's not like six little ones. It's one. What are you supposed m- to even do with that? We've all been de- debating that. A- any ideas for a giant R two ice cube? Leave in the comment section like, below. We're talking like no, and I mean here. Hold on. You know what? Let's show it to the people. Yeah, you're gonna grab it. <laughs> yep. Ugh. Oh, he just spit on it. No, I was blowing off. It's a little dusty. It's a little dusty. It's on my back. Ooh, I'm a little hot. All right. So this <laughs> is the R two. Um, this is the R two silicone. It is large, as you can see, and we don't know what to do with it. So, if you have ideas, is that maybe for like a punch bowl or something? That's what that's what that's what Chris said. I was yeah. like, "What?" Yeah, yep. I think Chris is uh, like, on the right track there. But if you got any other ideas, we'd love to hear them. And you could make leave like them in the a, section you below. could make like a, a like that what the Starbucks or whatever like the, their unicorn thing where it changed. Flavor, you could put like the frappuccino, like freeze, the unicorn frappuccino, freeze some flavored thing in this, and then you put the ice cube in it so it starts out one flavor in the punch bowl and then changes as the R2D2 melts. Look at you, Just fancy saying. pants. I think I'm gonna try to bake a cake in it. It says it's graded to 440 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, maybe that maybe it's not an ice cube tray then. It says ice tray, really. Mm-hmm. The package said ice tray. Yep. But it's also grated so you could cook in it. Well, it's ne- negative 40 to 440. So if you had to put it in at 400, I'm pretty sure you'd be good. I mean, you could give it a shot because, I mean, this looks like it would fit in a cake pan, like with the edges. That's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. So, ideas. Uh, but yeah, so that came in it. Uh, I got a pizza cutter that has Darth Vader's voice when you roll it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a Han Solo, like plush. Um, oh, a uh, mug. Han shot first. Dope. What else was in there? Is that it? I didn't watch you open it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I, and then the mask. That, see that creepy um, stormtrooper mask? I don't know. No, you can see it. Yeah. You can you can see the top. Of it. I checked <laughs> in the camera earlier. Um, but yeah, so it was a cool. It was a good. It was a good experience. Uh, cosplayers were not as much as I've ever seen. Really? Smallest, I think, it, um, number of vendors. Like the amount of collectible places was minimal. Do you think that has the same reason as like the T-shirt guy and stuff? Yeah, I think they're I think they're charging too much money. People have to travel with them. Yeah, I, I didn't have as much. I honestly, say this is probably the weakest year of the convention. To be honest, uh, it was still a great time. I might was, not go next year. Was the Lord of the Rings guy there? I don't think so. I wouldn't have liked it then. Uh, might not go next year, but me and nephew are planning a trip to C two E two. So, maybe you can get in on this. Maybe. And if we you can invite go, me, actually, this you, time. Well, C2E2 is a big one. Like, that would be a big one. We'd, be, we'd have to bring the camera and do some video, like, from the hotel room. You know what I mean? Like, shoot some stuff. It would be it'd be pretty interesting. It would be pretty interesting. So, I'm thinking next year, C2E2, because I'm tired of the booty. The uh, booty. <laughs> uh, Wizard World. Sorry, I can't. I can't. I can't. 
it was kind of bootylicious. Um, it was, <laughs> but not not in a good way either. So I think well, I'm gonna stick to I also more noticed local. there was way less pictures this year than. Well, there wasn't that much to take pictures right, of. Right, right. Last year, it felt like there was, like, we took a just a sh- ton of pictures. Remember in those, all those glass cases with stuff in them, the turtles? Well, even Remember people. I turtles? didn't see you take nearly as many pictures with people. There wasn't that many people. That's that's my point. In the community at large, is kind of against the whole Wizard World thing. I'm, really? I think I'm going to go more to the local cons. Mm-hmm. Anna Minneapolis is coming up. I think I might, think I might pop up there. Um, you can catch me at conventions all summer. I'll be popping up. I know Spring Con's coming up. Um, there's a couple in Minnesota. I'm gonna the Jedi the, thing that's the not sa- technically a con. Saber but it's a big Legion, thing. the Saber Legion tournament, June 23rd. We'll we'll be popping up there. Um, yeah, we'll be around. So I was it was cool. It was just you know it was no t-shirt guy. I can't how no happy can I be? T-shirt guy. That's and, that's what and breaks I didn't, it. And for I didn't get a collectible. This dude had a cool trunks, but one of the foot pegs was broken and it had like a hole in the leg. Like an indent, like something fell on it, and he wanted like fifty five bucks for it. I'm like, dude, this is like broken. I came back in like twenty minutes and it was gone. And I'm like, dude, people just. But that's the problem though. Like, you don't know what you're looking at, or mm-hmm. you don't know what you're looking for. You well, just, you just buy it up, right? The they instant had, you see it. The only thing I almost, I'm kind of pissed at myself. I didn't buy is you see that over there, that collection, the Guardians. Yep, yep. They had one of those, but it was all three Groots. So it had like the full size Groot. Ooh. It had the little Groot in the mm-hmm. thing, and it had that Groot. Do one fifty five for it? Holy hell! I was Guy like, knows what he's doing though. He did because I've been looking for that for a hot minute. And I can't find it. I passed it up, and I'm probably gonna regret that down the road. Nah, but I can't give really it a worry month when you find road. it online. Or if I go into actually, I'll probably go into um, Cedar Cliff. I'll Shit, the, dude! You I'll could have lo- me go there the literally shops. tomorrow. I love the logo shops. I need to. I'm still looking for a Jack Burton Funko Pop too. We were actually at there? the Cedar Collectibles. Today. When? when? Earlier when we were really? out over in that area. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you're yeah. taking another store right next yeah, to there. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to go out there. Sweet. That means every time I come to your store, I can go there. Exactly. Oh, perfect. Um. Well, that's it. Episode 83. This was a long motherfucker. Uh. Until the next time. Uh. I don't even know when that'll be, but it'll be <laughs> soon. Uh. Like, share, and subscribe. Check us out. Base my banner. YouTube, Facebook, all that shit. I'm Thor. That's Brian. Mmm, yeah. (laughs) If you like what you just saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our videos, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and like our Facebook page.